Hey and welcome back to the channel, Toby's Real Skills with Toby. In today's video we will solve a problem which we encountered, not only me, also a lot of you, on the Liz City battery box, but also the new Chan battery box. I thought at the beginning, yeah great, the, we can charge our battery regardless of the settings and it should just work, but somehow we should adjust also the MPPT charger to the type of battery we have in the case. Well, guess what? I talked to the manufacturer and I tried to figure out how to press some buttons or whatnot. Um, the answer was not really satisfying, but there is a solution. The solution is small and green, does not come with batteries and is called by new power. So this little device will help us to configure our MPPT charger to the type of battery we're using. In my case, lithium iron phosphate battery. You might use a HM battery or some other battery. And that's the time when you can adjust it. Why is that? Pretty simple. Lithium ion phosphate batteries does have different charging voltage versus an HM battery. For lithium ion phosphate batteries, we would like to see the battery at the end at 14.2 volts, which means the battery is completely full. That's when it's really full. So the modern and new lithium ion phosphate chargers, they go up to 14.6 volts to push in the power until it's completely full and then it's just floating. So, we tried to do this with this one. I want to show you what you need to do. Besides ordering this part, which I paid 20 bucks US dollars, plus two batteries, which were not included. But you get a little manual, which is important because you want to know what you need to configure. I only adjusted one setting and I'll show you how it works. We'll start with the battery box, the version one, which you can also find up there in the video. And We'll do it now together. All four bolts you need to take off. Then you do have access here. And now it's important, there's power on it. You need to have it powered on. Very important because you wanna have some power on the MPP T charger. So now looking at the entire thing, this is the inverter. This is the front consoles with the, with the USB-C, with the cigarette lighter, with the on off knob and also with the inverter where you can start it. And then here we do have the MPPT charge and that is very important. Now we need our device. You need to make sure the batteries are in it. I'm gonna show you how that works. And then we can press any button just to get it started. And then it turns on. So I try to make it here backlight. I hope you can read it. What you need to do, you need to point towards the MPPT charger here between this one infrared and this one. Yeah. Anyway, so what we do first, you can see there are a bunch of buttons. Please read the manuals if you want to change more settings than I want to show you, but we want to read everything. So that means here's the backlight down there and push it again. So it's easier to read. So now we want to hear, so you see it's data, status. So I want to go to read data. When you do that and there it shows comms error, you have to point towards it, press it again, and then it should get some information. And now I can go down and look at all those little tiny awesome settings. And by the way, what's important is number 17 battery lithium. I did adjust it already and you can see there's 14.6 and there are all those cryptic 18 CVT information. Make sure you get as handy instructions and you can see there are parameter settings. That is very important from what we want to see. So I think 17, 18, 17 battery does align pretty well. So we have liquid, gel and lead. So when you go down here you might see some explanation what it means. And for example, number four, I hope you can see it. If you select Lee in the battery item, then the CVT and CVR will display. So only in this case, we'll see 18 and 19, 18 and 19. And then it depends on if you have a 12 volt battery, etc. But this device only can do 12 volt as much as I remember. So we'll just go with that. That means when you want to change settings, you have to click back. Then you see this dark, thing here, you, so you, now you can go down with the cursor, just down, 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 and then you can select what you need to change. In our case, we're gonna go to 17 and change the battery setting, right? And click setting, then it blinks. Now it can cycle through with the cursor again, 
and when I'm done, hit settings again, and then it jumps to the next one. And now I could adjust this as well. I don't want to do that, but whoop, again, I hit back again, and it stops blinking. So, and now I have to send the data, so I have to hit send. And then it says, save successful. That's how simple it is. Now it is programmed, but to double check if it is, or if you want to check before you do that, of course, always first hit data from the reading section down here. And what I'm going to use status now as well, because then I should see the current. Here you see it, battery voltage, load current. I have nothing connected and what else? Yeah, everything else, what is basically set up and the information here. And also a little history, which I have absolutely no idea. So that's fine for me. I'm not gonna deal with that part because this is really, it's for me just setting everything up and nothing else. This is really only this because this is not really a comfortable way to do it, but at least we have an option to do this. And this is how you set this one up. Let's go to the new gen battery box and test it as if it works as well. Here we have the Lucidity new gen battery box. What we need to do here, we have to go to the back side, open it up because the MPPT charger is mounted here on one of the side in the back. So we should have access pretty easy as soon as we take off the back. Let's do this. Okay, when opened, you remember the MPVT charger is here on this side, right? So you can see it. We'll see if we can have access. Don't mind the wires, that's just my mess. So let's see, I'll try to read it. So first of all, turning it on again, right? There we go. Now I hit data. No chance. So I'll take the battery out and see if I can get access. Okay, uh, so I took it apart. Um, turning it on, right? So now I try to connect it. But unfortunately, unfortunately, I always get the comps error. I'm not able to connect to it. I can do what I want, decide to whatever I want to do. So far, no. No activity, I'm not able to read anything with this. This is kind of sad, but also cool at the same time. So it does work with the, wow, oh, I only have half my head. Let me fix this. Oop. Eh, ish. Eh, you get a point, you see me. So sadly, it only works with one out of those two battery boxes I mentioned. So it only works with the battery box, not with the new champ battery box. So since I had issues with my MPPT charger from the beginning, I'm most likely will replace it anyways with something else. I have a couple of MPT chargers here, which I want to test out. And this one's from New Power, remote control, smart control, whatever you want to call it. It does work only with one battery box, so keep that in mind, but it did work and I was able to adjust it to a lithium iron phosphate battery, what I'm using. And now I have a proper setting so it can charge up to full, not only to 13.3 amps, what I also had and was wondering why is this happening. So in case you wanna change your settings as well, sadly you have to invest 20 bucks for this. So bummer, and it even only works for one. And I try to figure out if the new gen battery box also has some kind of settings or if there's a remote to change that. Um, please test it as well on your end if you have the capacity. I would love to see maybe if you have a better MPPT charger and mine is just broken. I had weird, you know, there's a video about this better box. I had weird behaviors anyways. So please let me know. It would be great to understand this part. I hope you enjoyed that video. Like and subscribe. Thank you. Cheers.